Hello there, my name is Ron Allen and I just wanted to take a few minutes to do a book review. That book is Robert Hollis's How Is That Working? A Roadmap from Rat Race to Freedom. And I'm sorry I don't have a physical copy to hold up, but I prefer the audio version. So if you can relate to that, um, that's awesome that this book is also available as an audio version. Uh, but I just wanted to take a few minutes to go through some of the highlights and things that I really enjoyed about the book and hopefully you get some value out of it. Um, let's see. It seemed so many times that I was just looking in a mirror throughout his whole story that there were so many things that I could relate to and that's probably why I, a m main reason that I enjoyed the book so much. Um, he had a troubled childhood which I didn't have a troubled childhood but also it went on later on that it came up the quote that uh, you become the people you hang around and he hung around some people that weren't such good influences and I had that in my life as well um, and made some poor choices as he did in this book and you can either just uh, live with that and say, Psh, you know, I messed up, there's nothing I can do about it, or you can pick yourself off the ground and move on. And I've chosen to do that and can't wait to see the successes that I'm going to bring into my life. Um, let's see, he also went on to talk about how he found a coach and a mentor and things were falling apart in my life and didn't know where to turn didn't know who to talk to what to do about it prayed on it for quite a while and boom a coach and a mentor was brought into our lives and has meant so much to us to me especially um, it's changed my life to know that uh, they've been through some of the struggles and know the pitfalls and where to turn, where not to turn. Um, through our struggles, we came across network marketing. And uh, again, we didn't know anything about it. So we turned to a coach that has been through the struggles, been through, knows what to do what not to do so that we can take the shorter route and don't have to experience as many failures and that's another great point that was in his book was that um, so many people are afraid to admit that they don't know everything and to get your ego out of the way edging got out um, and to go ahead and ask questions and that's something that was hard for me to do but something I'm getting better at day by day and that's all we can hope for is to take little steps baby steps and just keep moving forward um, I thought maybe that this wasn't for me you know that there was hills and valleys and that I was the only one that ever experienced that and that's just not the case and like I said, I've learned that I need to take baby steps each and every day, and I know that I'm doing that and progressing forward in my life instead of back. Um, let's see. He talked about is different opportunities only meant for certain people that you know have. Only certain people that have it all have the money and the resources to do things, and no, that's not the case. Like I said, I prayed about it many times, and when you do, the right people will be attracted in your life, the right people will come, and are more than willing to help you out because they want to see you, they want to see you succeed as much as you want to succeed, and that's one of the things that I've gotten out of this book and have enjoyed seeing the abundance come into my life and I appreciate this book for pointing out those many 
opportunities and that I wasn't so far off track that I couldn't figure things out and I'm thankful for this book pointing that out and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Thanks.